Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Yes, am I boring you yet? Tough. If you don't like it, disappear. If not, keep watching me. Anyway, that's enough of me being daft. Uh, next beer up. I've really been looking forward to this one. Uh, it's from a local brewery again. Geeple Brewing from... Uh, I can't pronounce the name. Anyone that's seen... Uh, I've done a video yesterday for the Pilsner from the same, same brewery. Absolutely cracking drink. Lovely, lovely drink. Really good. Uh, and they've brewed a uh, Hefeweizen, which I really do like that style. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I really have been looking forward to this, and I really hope it doesn't disappoint. Uh, anyone that tries to do a German beer, I think, has a lot to live up to, uh, especially British breweries, because we're not sort of renowned for doing that style of beer so it will be interesting so here we go uh as i say geeple brewing and it's a bottle of their hefeweizen 500 ml bottle coming in at 5.2 percent this was three pounds 60 from my local bottle shop uh which is well actually ale house uh, but they're selling bottles at this time uh the bastion ale house so i'll just give them a shout out anyone in Oswald street surrounded areas Go and visit. It is an absolute blinding place to go. I love it. Uh, yes, beers are a bit more expensive, but you get what you pay for, don't you? So uh, this was £3.60 from them. Uh, there we go. The artwork, as I said yesterday, and the bottle cap is very 1940s, 1950s. And for me, it's some, it was some of the best. That's some of the best labels I've seen or you know if you compare it with can wraps and labels to me it's so simplistic but does the job so uh, without further ado let's get it in a glass get on with the review because I'm probably boring you now so uh, please 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 be fantastic there we go Francis Gunnerweiss beer uh, glass incidentally I've got two kegs of this for the perfect draft so uh, <laughs> when but it will be coming up i'll be doing a review of that so uh look out for that if you own a perfect draft or thinking about getting one all these beers from geeple are unfiltered unfined and all that lot so they should have lots of good stuff in look at that for a vison that looks bang on please 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 be good it's a hazy copper color uh, i can see the carbonation at the bottom rising up there is a bit there there's a one and a half finger of creamy foamy head on top now generally visons you tend to get big heads on it i mean that's that's not bad but that looks cracking if just on looks you could easily say that was a German Hefeweizen. So uh, let's get in on the nose, see what we get. <laughs> to be fair. Bananas. The Hefeweizen, you get decent Hefeweizen for me. Bananas is the big smell. And oh my God, you get that there. It smells lovely. Cloves. Now I normally get coriander in it. I don't normally pick the cloves up in these drinks. But I would say I'm getting the clove in that. With maybe subtle coriander in there. It smells fantastic. It looks fantastic. Please deliver. Please deliver. So let's go in for the taste guys. Cheers. Now the problem I have is I have a preconceived idea on what a wheat beer should look like, uh, taste like, Hefeweizen. This is good, don't get me wrong. And it does taste good. That initial taste is slightly different to what I'm used to. Not massively, but slightly different. So let me go in again, and it could just be my palate adjusting.
first thing I'm going to say is the body seems a tad under what I was hoping for. I know they're quite light, but I was hoping for a little bit more body maybe. Excuse me. You're definitely getting the banana in there. You really get the banana taste. For me, compared to the Frank Skinner, it's, a, I wouldn't say watered down, but it's definitely a, that little bit thinner and lighter. It's got a slight sweetness to it. You're getting the banana. But I think really probably it, it, it's lacking that kind of coriander kind of taste that I always pick up in these for me. But really, I would say it's a it's a good effort. That is a good effort from a British brewery to do a wheat beer. For me, all it lacks is probably a bit more body. Really, there's enough in the taste. Although the ta the taste isn't a hundred percent, but neither is the body. Now, if they could have kind of met in the middle, well. If, if the body could have just been that bit more, would have carried it through. It's certainly not terrible. Anyone that likes Hefeweizens, get on to Geeple Brewing, oh, excuse me, uh, and try one. And try one because it's certainly not a bad beer, but it's certainly not the best. Uh, but it is a very good effort at a German beer. Uh, maybe my hopes were set too high, I don't know. It's a little bit underwhelming, a little bit, but it's still a very good beer. You know, look, the lacing on the glass there, it's, it's you know. And it's, it's running down there, so for me, that says the body's that little bit thinner, that it's not sort of sticking to the sides a bit. And I would say that's really the, the, the biggest thing that sort of lets it down a bit. But it's a very good effort from a British brewery, to be honest. Uh, I've, I've, I've never had a, a British wheat beer uh, before. I've only ever had German stuff, so this had a lot to live up to. But it's a very acceptable beer. If you want to try one, Go to Geeple Brewing. If you live round Oslo Street, Shropshire, uh, surrounding areas, go to the Bastion Ale House to try something. It's slightly different. Uh, if you've had it before, by any chance, feel free to comment, uh, like my video, interact with me, as I say, with the comments, share my video, share my channel, subscribe to my channel, and uh, whatever you're drinking, enjoy. Uh, I will enjoy drinking this. It's a little, it is a little bit underwhelming, I'm not going to lie, but it's certainly not shit. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you again on another beer review. And quickly, just before I go, I've got one more beer from these to do, which is a Bock. So, uh, they obviously go along the German lines, so it's nice to see a British brewery actually trying to challenge the Germans a little bit at their own game. I don't think they're ever going to beat them, to be honest, but it's nice to have... A British brewery trying to do some proper decent beer. So see you all again on another beer of you guys and ladies. And uh, that's it really. So bye. <laughs>